Hey guys, um, ich and here's the thing. Um, just got back from Vegas probably a week ago now. Uh, so honestly, I've been swamped with work, so I thought I would just skip this vlog, but I felt bad. I felt like it wasn't the right thing to do. So I'm gonna do a really quick one. It's gonna be a tutorial about how to manage your files, how to organize your video files. Because actually, while I was in Vegas, I got a message from a fan asking me, she just, Actually, you know what, look, it's actually her idea. She's the whole reason why we're here, so let's give her a shout out. Um, Tawana Harris. Tawana Harris, thank you very much. This wouldn't happen without you. So basically, Tawana sent me a message um, asking, she just filmed like five basketball games in a row, had tons of footage and didn't know where to start in terms of managing all these files, organizing them. And it just looked like a huge mountain, which it does, like we've all been there. Like you film, you film at a sporting event for two hours, sometimes three hours, you're filming the crowd, you're filming the game, you're filming all sorts of stuff. And then you come home and you've got gigs and gigs and gigs of, of footage and you're like, wow. How am I going to get through this? Do I really have to click on each one uh, every time I'm looking for a shot? Like, how am I going to organize this so that it makes sense and it's effective? And I can edit this in less than a week. So this is what we'll be doing today. I'll take you into my computer and show you how I do it. <laughs> Okay, so before we get into Premiere, let me show you first how I organize the files on my computer. So let's go, let's, for example, let's take a vlog episode. So as you can see, all my episodes are well um, uh, labeled. So I'll just pick one at random, the Richmond Membership Conspiracy. Um, this is how I always do it, the same structure every time. So that way, the whole, the whole idea is to be able to share this project with someone else and they would know where everything is. I run a business, so that's what it needs to be, but you should do it in the same frame of mind. So that way, if one day you need help to help you, with, whether it's just one episode or multiple episodes, you can have people come in and everything will be organized. They'll know, after a very brief explanation, they'll know where everything is and they'll be able to pick up where you left off. And if you got two people uh, working on the same project, same thing. You can easily, one starts it, the other one finishes. They all put the, 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 the files where they're meant to be, and that's how it works. So if we go back into the, the computer, you'll see audio is basically where, obviously, all the audio files go. So music, these are all the music's, uh, music tracks that I picked. Voiceover, if there is any, um, would go in there as well. Export is where all, some people call it deliverables, I call it export. This is where the final videos uh, are, basically. This is the actual episode. I'll just sort of fast forward through it. But um, yeah, there's a Facebook version, a YouTube version, and a couple of teasers. Uh, this is the footage, obviously, where all the footage is. Uh, graphics is um, anything from logos to stills to the opening credits that I have um, here. I even have what I assume is some sort of, uh, yeah, it's a visual effect. So it would all go into graphics project. Uh, this is obviously where my Premiere Pro project is. If there was some After effect work involved, the project for that would be in there as well. And thumbnail is everything thumbnail related. The main reasons for organizing files the way I do um, obviously the, the one I mentioned before is like when you're working uh, as a team or if you plan to one day work as a team it's better to start now uh, but also for speed everything's there it's ready to go boom 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 no messing around no looking for files no losing files either that's a big one the main uh, the main reason for that is that you don't want to lose files because you cleaned up your desktop or your download folder but you forgot that there was a music track that you were using in there or there was a logo that you left on the desktop because you were in a hurry someone sent it to you you downloaded it put it in your project straight away but then you know, a month later, you delete everything on your desktop and boom, you lost your file. There's no way to get it back. So this is a way to make sure that everything is where it's meant to be. 
and ultimately you can put it on a hard drive, a separate hard drive. So that hard drive has everything for the project. You can plug it in any computer and just pick up where you left off. For this project in particular, I think I filmed for about three days. So there's a lot of footage, there's a lot of files. So what do you do? Do you go through all of them and name them all so it's easy to see? Do you blow up like uh, all sorts of different windows with thumbnails uh, showing so that you can see at least the first frame of each clip and know roughly what it is? Um, that might work when you've got, I don't know, 20, 30 files. But when you've got a few hundred, uh, it can be, first of all, you won't have the space in, in terms of uh, screen, but also um, it gets very messy. So the way I do it, I don't really name my files per se. They keep the original name that the camera gives them, but I separate it by, uh, by categories. So if we go into the footage folder, you'll see that I've got a few different categories already you know the way you identify each category it's really up to you i did it in this case by location because i filmed in various locations so it was easier for me to say all right i want to use the shots from when i film uh, the afl deep dive podcast and then all the shots would be in there and oh, i want to use some shots from the filming i did in bendigo oh, everything's in there but if you're doing a highlight package of a sports uh, event uh, it will probably be different so let's let's delete let's delete all the footage and just uh, start fresh assuming that we're working on some sort of highlight package let's say a basketball game for example the way I would categorize this is I would probably go by shot type so I will have my wide shots my close-ups my crowd shots that would be the main three categories so let's just do that in footage I'll have a wide um, uh, close-up and crowd so so all right we got our three categories but even just with three folders it's it's going to be you know it's, there's going to be a lot of files per folder if you film the whole game so what i would do um if we stick to the basketball example there's four quarters obviously so i would replicate this four times one per quarter uh, quarter and put these three in there. And then all I have to do is duplicate this bad boy, call it two. Um, and then again, the long and boring part is gonna be looking at each clip and putting them in the right folder, right? But once that's done, you're ready to go. From there, it goes pretty quickly. So this is pretty much it, guys. Um, I could go on and on and try to give you more tricks, but really, it's just about creating a system that works for you, a system that is clear, simple, effective. Not only is it gonna make you more organized, but it's gonna make you much faster. And also, it's gonna make you able to share and, and uh, ultimately get other people involved into your projects as well, if need be. So on that note, um, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, we've got plenty more tutorials coming. Continue to send me questions and uh, suggestions for the next tutorials. This one literally came to me while I was filming a vlog in Vegas. And two weeks later, here we are. So keep them coming. And uh, I'll see you next time.